I, that might be one of the greatest joys out of teaching the very most elementary class is it, is it causes me as a PhD level physicist to think about the very fundamental things that I think I understand. Uh, uh, for instance, the concept of energy is just remarkable. I can write equations that describe energy. I can just, uh, you know, handle it in a quantitative manner. I can come up with results, and I can teach my students to come up with those results too. And then they're little, little Ottomans. They're little robots following recipes. You know, it's it's like baking a cake. You take a couple eggs, you blend them with sugar, you add the fold in the flour. You follow the directions, but you don't know what you're doing. But you come back to the very concept of energy. What the heck is energy anyway? Uh, and it's just remarkable. I can, I can take, if I may get a prop, and it's not uncommon for me to do this, I can take this eraser and I can stand there in front of 170 kids and I can say, I can give this eraser energy. Right? And I can give that eraser energy by taking it and applying a force over a certain distance. And I teach the kids how to multiply that force times that distance and come up with a quantity of energy. But the most remarkable thing is, is when I do apply that force times the distance and throw the eraser off in some direction, that eraser leaves with energy. How the heck did the energy from my body, the banana that I ate for breakfast, get metabolized, and that energy come out into the arms of my, uh, into the muscles of my arm, and then transfer it into that eraser, and there it is. What, some little fluid passed from my hands into the eraser and made it fly off? I don't know. Here I am, knowing as much physics as any physicist in the world, and I can't describe really what's going on there. And yet I can quantify it and use it, and I can send astronauts to the moon with these concepts. Isn't that amazing? So, so I can do that with energy. I can do that with a whole variety of different concepts in physics. I personally can get really excited about these things, and I think when I do that, the kids get excited too.